Oh my, are those human feces? I better find someone to clean that up. I wish someone was around to guard this. Oh, ma'am, yes. could you help me out? Will you, Ew. will you guard these for me while I go find someone to clean these up? Sure, thank you. Thanks for guarding this, ma'am. Yeah, well, that's disgusting. I know, it's sick, so. All right, well. you get to clean it up. Yeah, okay. yeah thanks, for, thanks for standing here. I'm gonna put on my PPE, my gloves that don't fit. And we've got our disinfectant cleaner and uh, a bag to throw away. Okay, let's get to it. Better go discard this and wash my hands. Hello and welcome to today's training class uh, presented by the Chipotle Group. Um, we're going to be learning about the human biohazard cleanup process in our human resources class. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is what is human biohazard? Uh, this refers to the biological substances that pose a threat to the human health. This can include blood, feces, vomit, or I can refer to as protein spills, and saliva, and many other things that can contribute to that. Uh, first thing we'll talk about is the containment process. Um, number one, how to identify the substance. George Sanderson, please remain Ooh. motionless. Prepare for the contamination. contamination. Number two, isolate the contamination. Coming through, please. This side, clear the contaminated area. Oh. This is a 2319 in progress. The area is clear. Coming through, watch yourself. Oh. Three, dress in the appropriate personal protective equipment, or as we refer to it in the slides as PPE. Four, the spill cleanup process. All clear. Situation is niner niner zero. Ready for decon. Five, disinfect the area. Hey, thanks guys. That was a close one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly. Disposal of the product. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is identifying the substance. Um, as we just talked about, why is it important to know the spill is, as I said, protecting yourself as well as your loved ones and others uh, that you may come in contact with that spill. Um, most biohazards uh, can be identified just by sight as you come upon those items. Um, and also, um, if you can, cannot identify the substance, we need to treat that as hazardous waste. Uh, we're not going to be covering that in our uh, training slides today. Um, we're going to leave that for another slide and go more into detail on that. All right, now we're going to talk about number two, which is isolating the contamination. Um, we have some objects in front of us that can help us um, to isolate the area. Uh, we have our caution signs with our awesome uh, trip, slip and fall man, as well as some caution tape has been put up. Um, you can also use a person to guard the spill for you, as we saw in the uh, video earlier. Um, they can sit there while you go and find someone else to clean the spill up. Um, obviously, the, the uh, biggest importance is to block off the affected area to prevent others to come into contact with that substance and potentially uh, spreading that contaminant uh, to other areas of your workplace or of your home. Number three is wearing appropriate PPE. Uh, the first thing you want to do after identifying the spill is referencing the spill guide uh, so you know which uh, PPE to wear, uh, so you protect yourself from those spills. Uh, we're going to ask Cammy to come into this uh, shot now. Um, she's going to demonstrate some of the PPE that we would use. Uh, we actually recommend these three for um, the spills. Um, other ones we're going to be addressing is gloves, gowns, goggles, masks, hair covers, and shoe covers. 
Um, as you can see, as Cammie's putting these on, um, she is covering the uh, vital areas of your body, uh, covering your eyes um, as well as your mouth, uh, so you don't ingest the harmful subjects as well as getting into your eyes. Um, you use your hands, obviously, to clean up the spills. Uh, so you want to uh, have that barrier as you're um, picking up the feces, blood, uh, vomit, whatever spill you come in contact with. Uh, so thank you, Cammie, for uh, helping demonstrate some of the PPE to give you a visual of what um, items you will uh, need to cover. Uh, like I said, we need to just use those items uh, to cover some of those uh, most vital uh, parts of our body. Uh, number four is going to be talking about uh, cleaning up the actual spill. Um, we've broken it down to two different um, spills we want to address today. Uh, that being the liquid spill or vomit, and then uh, feces and blood. Um, with a liquid spill, we use um, absorbent. You'll cover the entire spill uh, with the absorbent, um, and then letting the appropriate amount of time for the absorbent to uh, soak up all the liquids. Um, and after that, you will um, clean up the absorbents with uh, just a dust broom, um, and then put that into a sealable bag uh, for disposal later on. Uh, for feces and blood, um, you'll want to use disposable towels uh, to uh, grab the feces with um, or soak up the blood um, and then later on after it's absorbed after the appropriate amount of time uh, you'll place those towels into a silver bag. Um, after you've got uh, the substance um, off the ground um, there are microorganisms and things that we can't see uh, that we will want to disinfect. Um, make sure you thoroughly spray the area. Uh, you don't need to soak it but you to make sure there is an uh, even coat um, onto the disinfected area um, to allow um, time to, uh, for the disinfectant to kill all uh, microorganisms and uh, bacteria that may be on the ground. Uh, the other thing we want to highlight is uh, disinfecting mops or other cleaning equipment that you may have involved in this spill cleanup. Um, these can spread harmful um, diseases and microorganisms uh, to other areas of the building um, or into the, where you actually store the stuff. Um, this just will help uh, maintain the, the equipment um, as you go to your next spill as well. Uh, the, uh, number six is the disposal, which is our last um, topic we want to talk about. Um, and this is important as well, is make sure you dispose of it properly so you don't just go to your nearest trash can and throw it away. Um, because if that bag were to be uh, broken open, um, you could spread the, um, the biohazards from there. Um, so just make sure you do wipe up all residual disinfectant paper towels and um, put them into the appropriate bag. Um, as well as to get all the uh, PPE that's disposable, such as the gloves, as uh, Cammie just demonstrated earlier, as well as on the movie we watched, um, where they placed the uh, PPE that was um, contaminated with the, the biohazards, and we put those into the sealable bags. And make sure that it is sealed properly, and then disposed of in the appropriate uh, bags, um, and put it into different areas. And again, reference the spill cleanup. They'll tell you uh, each spill that needs to be um, cleaned up and how. Uh, and then the last step is washing your hands thoroughly. Make sure you do go to your closest area where you can wash your hands thoroughly, um, getting all those microorganisms and other things that potentially may have spilled um, on your arms um, or the areas of your body. Um, other than that, the last one, I want to uh, leave it open for questions uh, for the class. If there's anything else we need to address, um, please feel free to address it this time. Thank you, and we want to just thank the class for this time. Yada, yada. Thank you guys. <laughs> For the spill cleanup process. For. <laughs> Good day, cut this out. For the spill cleanup process. I <laughs> wasn't <laughs> even laughing. <laughs> no, I'm trying. Okay. We're still looking. Come on, get lost, you two. You're making him lose his focus. Oh, I'm sorry. See you later, fellas. Go get him, Mr. Solomon. You idiot. It's Sullivan, not Solomon. What? You're messing up the scene. Sorry. We're never going to work in Hollywood again. Let me do it over. Shut up. Keep rolling. You're making it worse. Duck and cover, people. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. That was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, today we're going to be learning about, oh, I just, just keep rolling with it. As a human resources group, today we're going to be learning about, marker, and action, let her rip, go, go. <laughs> shut it off. Um, other than that, we're 
to turn this time over to the rest of the class if there's any questions, concerns, emotional outbreaks. Anything we have, we have videos we want to talk about. We have other awesome things we can talk about. I'm probably going to put a film in that spot, so that's why I said all that stuff. Anyway. Hey, Albert.